you scored the winning goal late in the game. It was decisive, decisive. it was clinical, it wasn't a bad goal. Anything to say, Mr Tanner? Uh, no, I was getting a little bit frustrated, to be fair, because I, I felt like I was stood in that, that area uh, quite a few times today, so I thought I'd make the most of it. Well, you certainly did, and uh, I mean, it sent the Fleet fans into raptures because around the same time it came through that Dartford were losing, and with the Fleet going ahead, that puts the side back in third place, which is really important going into the playoffs, isn't it? Yeah, without doubt, you know, um, it's weird how football works out. Sometimes things just magically happen in that sort of way. Um, obviously, luck enough, my shot went in, and Dartford obviously conceded, so it's worked out well. Uh, we're in third place where we want to be, and getting momentum now going into the final few games. I think you're playing it down a little bit. You said you shot my shot went in. Uh, it, it was an absolute cracker. I mean, and, and the, if you put it in context as well, of, the, of the, the fleet needing to get that second goal, it was such an important goal. Yeah, it's weird. I actually I took some shots after training yesterday, and to be fair, I was hitting the target quite nicely. So I felt confident going into the game. I had a good warm-up, hit a few more in, so they seemed to be flowing. So I was just waiting. Luckily, Rax came on. He, I had a word with him when he came on, so like, just give me one shot today. Um, he rolled it to me nicely, and yeah, just managed to put it in the net, I guess. And on Saturday when you came onto the pitch, that seemed to have turned the game more in Fleet's favour and, and you came away with a draw from that game. And uh, today you were out there from the start and, and, and it was a bit hard, I think, in the first half. But the second half you've begun to turn on the style a bit, didn't you? Yeah, it's, you know, they're fighting for their lives, so they're going to be 50-50s. You know, they're going to be going in probably stronger than they've done all season You know, when they're fighting like that. So it would take a while, but we believe in what we do. We knew we'd grind them down. The gaps would start to get bigger and you know, we conceded a goal, which we're not happy about, but we show the response to get back and we didn't stop doing what we believe will get us achievements and at the end, the end goal promotion. So, you know, I come on and we weren't great against, um, I can't remember who we played now, it all goes into a blur. On Saturday? Saturday, oh, yeah, we drew 2-2, two, yeah, two, two. whatever game that was, we played Chippenham that. Town. Chippenham Town. Yeah, and you know, I came on and just tried to get on the ball and help the lads out and, you know, do what we work on in training and lucky enough I helped there and I could help again today. So it's a really simple equation at the moment, Saturday, last home game of the season in the league, Chelmsford City at home, a win, you got that third spot tied up, which gives you the big advantage. How do you go into that game? Um, is it all guns blazing? Is it patient? Is, I mean, how do you approach it? I think it? we go into it what we go every game. We want the ball, we want to keep the ball, we want to create chances. And, you know, with the playoffs, it's an exciting time for the club and it's a good chance for fans and everyone to sort of get together and get a real good feel about it all. There's nothing more exciting than a playoff push and, you know, hopefully we can put on a good display Saturday going into it. Chelmsford haven't got anything to play for other than pride, essentially. They're not involved in relegation, not involved in the playoffs. Is that dangerous because it, it could breed complacency maybe? Uh, they're probably the hardest teams because you don't really know what they're going to do. Are they going to down to? Are they going to protect themselves? Or they think, all right, let's just go for it one game. Let's let's go have some fun and do whatever they want to do. So as long as we do what we do and we keep it tight at the back and we know with the strike force we've got, we, there's always going to be goals for us. And I'm very disappointed because usually when I talk to you, you've scored two goals in the game know. and you've only got the one today. So where was the second goal for you? Um, I'll, I'll save it for Saturday then. Right. You're, you're on. It's All on right. film. Uh, right. uh, we'll come back to you on Saturday. Right, well, give... Where was that missing goal? We'll do a Guinness on it, shall we? <laughs> OK, we'll do a Guinness on it. All right, we'll take that. Congratulations. Fantastic goal, fantastic win, and uh, good luck on Saturday. Cheers. Thank you very much. Thanks, Thanks for dramas. Well, short. Sweet. Cheers. Well done, Michael.